Hello, my name is Sri Ram Rajagopalan. I'm an applications engineer at EMA Design Automation. I have created this small utility which will convert your VHDL file to use it along with vSpice. And this video is going to show you how. Uh, you'll have to follow a set of um, instructions or steps to achieve this goal. First, extract your um, files under C colon program files. Um, next, you'll have to um, synthesize your RTL VHDL and generate a gate level VHDL file. You'll have to save this gate level VHDL file in a predefined directory. I will show you in this movie. Next, you'll have to uh, use the uh, program that I've created and convert it into a PSPICE notation. And then from there onwards, you will create a schematic symbol and use it along with your analog or mixed signal components in your PSPICE project. You should also be aware of something um, here that um, the utility that I have created is not something that EMA or Cadence um, actively supports or sells. So this is um, purely something that I have created uh, to help other PSPICE users. So uh, I have not benchmarked the uh, function or performance of this utility so you'll have to use it and understand that uh, you're using it at your own risk so uh, let me uh, proceed ahead and show you how to use this utility first um, you'll have to extract the contents of the compressed f folder that I have emailed you this you'll have to extract it under C colon program files. Now, this is very important because it has to be in this location for the utility to to read and uh, write. So let's extract it here under C colon program files. This will create a folder called VHDL to PSPICE. Now let's look at the contents of this folder. It has several subfolders and you will know why all these folders are there as you proceed along. As the name indicates, the first one is where you would save all the capture schematic symbols. The library folder is a folder uh, where all the uh, piece by the digital um, models are created. This is something that you would keep on adding after you use the utility. And there is also a folder called Delphi Examples where I have kept all the sample exam sample files for ORCAD and VHDL files that I'll be using in this example. And there is also a source folder where I would use to save all my gate level VHDL files. Now let's uh, go to start programs and uh, bring up the lattice and simplify software to synthesize your gate level VHDL file. You don't have to be a proficient um, simplify user to use this utility and I'll show you how. Go to file new and create a new project. then you need to add your VHDL, RTL VHDL file so right click and say add source and uh, in this example I've also kept your VHDL file under um, Delphi examples the file name is called 1.vht this is a simple counter now what I assume here is that this counter has been already verified and it's ready for synthesis so you'll have to code your VHDL accordingly you, you also need to set up um, certain conditions before synthesis so select this folder right click and bring up the implementation options so you need to synthesize using the lattice Mac 111 technology and disable IO insertions go to the implementation tab and check the VHDL netlist checkbox now you're ready to, ready to synthesize. Hit the run button and this will generate a bunch of output files. 
we are interested in the gate level VHDL file. So this is this has an extension .vhm. Let's double click on this file to look at uh, what it looks like. This is a typical gate level VHDL uh, file that is generated by the synthesis tool. So we need this file. So we need to go to File, Save As, and we need to save it under C colon Program Files. VHDL to PSPICE and under the source directory. Once the file is saved, we are pretty much done with uh, synthesis, so we can close Simplicity. So let's go back and run the utility that I have created which will convert the gate level VHDL file to its equivalent pSpice notation. And the utility is called VHDL to pSpice underscore Sriram. So first you need to enter the name of your VHDL gate level VHDL file. So it's called one. There's no need to ex enter the extension. Click OK next you need to enter the name of your top level entity in this case it is called counter so hit ok and um, it is almost immediately it converts it into its equivalent piece by piece representation now let's look at the uh, output files that this has created let's go into the library file folder you can see that there are a bunch of files that already exist. The one that was recently created was the copy1.lib. Every time you, you run the utility, it will create a .lib file. And um, the way my program works is that it prefixes, prefix a word called copy in front of uh, the output files. It also has, uh, cre it has created another, folder, uh, another file called libpointer.lib. Now let me open this in Notepad, and this is a library pointer file. So this file will tell PSPICE where to look for the uh, libraries when it's running simulation. So we just created the lib file. Now w we need to create an equivalent schematic representation. So we need to go to RCAT capture. I'm sorry, RCAT 10.5. PSPICE Accessories Model Editor and um, open the uh, LIB file that was created using the software. As you can see this represents the structural or uh, the gate level VHDL file in its equivalent PSPICE notation basically a subcircuit file now you need to uh, go to file export to uh, capture library and choose an appropriate destination path now you should go to your um, folder VHDL to pspice where there is a subfolder called capture capture symbols this is typically where you need to keep all your uh, OLB files when you run this utility now I'm also going to show you um, an RCAT capture piece by piece project where uh, we are going to use this uh, symbol that we just created. Um, there is, I've already created an uh, example. So this example is under your program files, VHDL to piece by piece, Delphi examples. And name of the example is called counter underscore VHDL. So <coughs> let's bring up the project. What I've done here is I've already placed the symbol. So all you have to do is go to the place part option and um, browse to the location of your OLB file, which is under capture symbols directory. So choose that and click open 
and then place the symbol. I have also connected um, inputs to my clock and reset. So these are uh, the inputs are coming from a digital stimulus. These stimulus are from the capture, um, sorry, piecewise stimulus library. Now let's look at uh, this stimulus to see what its behavior is like. So this is uh, has a period 100 nanoseconds with a, a repetition of 50 nanoseconds. Once again, these are within your default piecewise libraries. It's from the source STM, and the part is called Ditch Stim One. These are very easy to use. Next, uh, what you have to do is you'll have to edit your simulation settings. Go to Edit Simulation Settings, and click on the configuration tabs and choose the library category. Browse to the uh, folder within the VHDL to PSPICE directory. Go to the library folder and choose the libpointer.lib. As I said earlier, this file will point or help PSPICE understand where all your uh, custom created models are uh, save within your computer. So you can either add to design or add as global. Either either ways it's fine. And click OK. So just to make sure that everything is connected correctly, you can check selecting the symbol, right click and then say edit piece by model. And immediately you should be able to see the uh, mo model definition, which is nothing but the uh, which is nothing but the VH VHDL gate level representation in PSPICE. So let's run simulations. I have um, added my inputs and outputs in this example by clicking on add trace button. As I said this is a counter which will count all the clock pulses this is an ideal example so there are no delays so this is how you would use and connect it with other components in your design thank you for your time